Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about a person who's well known, but at the same time not known at all. Now you may be wondering, how is that so? Well, the person we're talking about today goes by the name of Mark Feely. He is very, very, very well known in the United Kingdom. As a matter of fact, in the UK, they have a nickname for him, Nance of the North, which is just another you know way of saying Predator of the North. But he's very well known in the UK, although quite literally almost zero YouTubers have properly covered him, besides one. Now, the YouTuber that you're seeing on screen is a very small YouTuber. He goes by the name of Joseph's World. He makes a bunch of videos about primarily English, you know, predators. And, you know, he did quite well. He explained Mark Feely decently for the three-part mini-documentary he did on him. And he was, like, the only one I've seen to actually talk about him properly. And I just wanted to give props to him because although this was heavily requested... His mini-doc helped put me on the right path of where to start my research. Now, here we go. Mark Feely. He's 4'11". He is arguably the most known UK predator that there is. Probably the second most known, second to none, to of course Paul Breach. And Mark Feely has been caught in well over five sting operations done by multiple different people. Anytime he's spotted out in public, same as Paul Breach, he's immediately recorded and then people immediately jump on to the fact that he's probably there to meet a child. Now, although that Mark has been, you know, caught well over five times in the course of five years, no action has ever been properly taken against him. It's always just, you know, oh well and nothing ever really happens. He's kind of very protected by the police. Of course, you'll see that in one point in the later on in the video, but every time he's been caught, it usually leads to absolutely nothing. I mean, we've seen Mark, and I do have proof of this with the recording. Mark was following two young girls home. He's been caught trying to meet up with real children and children that are fake from a sting operation. He's been caught well over five times, and none of that has led to anything. And a lot of these sting operations will most likely never, ever, ever lead to anything, especially when the majority of them do everything that they do very unprofessionally. Mark was a very big, you know, TikTok and Instagram user back during the lockdown times. A lot of the accounts he made were banned because all he would do was duet very young girls and dance when they would dance or just go live with really young girls. There was a live that I'm going to show you after I'm done telling you about it, but there was a live that he was on where he only had 3,000 viewers, and everybody in the live chat was constantly just, like, making fun of him, calling him every single name possible, right? And, you know, you're going to expect that whenever you have a rep as bad as Mark does, but... When he sees his viewers go from like 2.9k all the way up to 4k, he's sitting there going, yeah, we had 29,000, 40,000 in the live chat right now. I have so much power, you guys don't even know what I'm capable of. Like he's an anime main character who just got the fucking Zenkai boost finally. He's finally powered up and ready to fight the antagonist. Here's the clip. Yeah, right, so I'll keep it on track, bro, so I can keep it on track. Because this is amazing, mate. This is a complete amazing. Everybody, people either cause me pedos, mate, say what you want, bro, because when I fucking show the police this, mate, I want to make sure they take you all your names. So don't worry, mate, they'll be looking for you. Yeah, they take fucking names, mate. Don't worry. So beware. You don't know what I fucking power I've got, mate. I've got power. I 
And that bow I can fucking do right now. So, obviously, as you can see right there, he does believe that he has the power, that he's untouchable completely. I don't know why he believes this at all whenever he's been caught multiple, multiple times over and over and over. But maybe it has something to do with the fact that every time he's caught, it leads to absolutely nothing. Even whenever he was caught trying to meet up with an actual child, the police did absolutely nothing and just excused his actions. Now, there is one major clip I do want to show you right now because it's just absolutely bewildering to hear, but I need to give some context to the clip before I do finally show it to you. So, although Mark Feely has been, you know, set up in multiple sting operations done by very unprofessional people, someone actually got the opportunity to do what they called an interview with Mark Feely. It's very, very long, and a lot of it is just deflecting stuff, and you're not getting any proper answers. But there was a certain 20 seconds of the interview that stuck out to me while I was watching it. Here it is. I have basically been locked up for this before dawn, and... And basically, I got out of it. I got out through mental health problems. Who are you? So, Bella, are you attracted to children? Not. I won't say not attracted to them. So as you can see, six minutes in, we're already down to some pretty nasty stuff. We're already down to some pretty bad stuff. This guy is very, very well known. So that's why it's kind of odd to me that there's never been any action taken against him at all. He's very protected. Even if you look him up on the internet, everybody will call him the protected nonce of the North. Like, it's just very well known that for some reason in the UK that they're just protecting the shit out of people like him for no reason, which I don't fully comprehend. Mark has been caught trying to meet up with well over five 13-year-olds and even talking to a six-year-old as well as sending that same six-year-old a death threat. Also, if you're anything like me, don't get too worried if you have trouble understanding what they're saying when they speak. Their accents are very, you know, thick. It's very hard to kind of comprehend what they're saying because I'm not used to it at all. But after re-listening to it for like maybe once or twice, then you kind of get to comprehend what they're actually saying. It is kind of hard though, I'll be honest. Now I would quickly like to go over the time where Mark was caught following two girls home. Now it is very blurry and hard to see, but it's very obvious that it is Mark. You can definitely tell by the voice, like it, it's very apparent. And by the way his height is, because Mark is very short standing at a height of 4 foot 11. A lot of these videos surrounding Mark are always very, very, very blurry, sadly. So, I mean, I did my best to kind of make the quality a little bit better. I always try to make the quality of videos, you know, much better than what I find them with. But it's kind of hard to do that, so I'm working with what I can. Now, Mark Feely has been caught in many, many sting operations. He's been recognized in public a lot as well, and as soon as he's recognized in public, he's immediately called out or called some names. Now, I'm going to show you guys the most popular instance of when this has happened. This guy sees Mark at a train station and immediately starts recording him and calling him out for being a predator. Now, you may be wondering... How is this going to go? Well, it is going to go in the most wacky way possible. The guy who is recording him, who technically didn't do anything wrong or didn't break any laws, ends up getting arrested because he swore in the street. Like, I'm not entirely sure why this guy got arrested. Maybe there's an argument for, like, disturbing the peace somehow. But I remember the officer in the video just arresting him because he swore in the street or he wouldn't back up. I mean... I don't know why he had to back up. He was already like around six to seven feet away from Mark, just recording from the distance with his phone. I'm not entirely sure what laws he could have broken, but at the same time, I'm not completely familiar with the UK's laws at all because I don't live there. 
But if anybody in the comment section can tell me what could possibly lead to a person getting arrested in a situation like this, please let me know. Because like I said before, I'm not from the UK and I don't know what could cause someone getting arrested for what he did here. Where are you getting talk? I don't know. Yeah, you've got lots of in a bit there. Do you know that? Uh, wait, wait, it's strange. Uh, Why are you here? The train station. Why are you here? Uh, 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 uh Barry. Fucking come to uh, touch kids here? Uh, uh. Is that what it is? No, uh, Barry. Yeah, yeah. Go fucking lucky. Yeah. No, they're, st they're still here. No. Uh, taking pictures. Taking pictures. There. Yeah. Yeah. Tell everyone who you are. What? Tell everyone who you are, Mark. Yeah, can you that background? Anyone near knows who he is? Mark Feely, Google him. He's a paedophile. Uh -huh. Right. I'm allowed to record him, I haven't touched him. Right, I've I don't want you saying any more, alright? Oh no, I, 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 I want you to move away. I, I'll stand I'll over here. I want you to move away now. I'll, sta I'll stand here, he's a paedophile. Right, that's Coming why, move kids. away. Oh no, I'm, I'm, look, look how far away I am. Move away. I'm, I'm, I'm Stop here. Stop saying things. No, I haven't touched him. You're still saying stuff though, aren't I am. you? Yeah, because yeah. Google, do you know, you know who he is, don't you? Right, Google's doesn't name. matter. Mark Feely. Doesn't matter. Touched up 11, 12 year old girls. Stop talking, this has got nothing to do with you. Okay. All right. I mean, it does because I have a little sister that lives here. I understand that. Right. But you don't go walking up to someone you don't know. I do know him. You're the UK you knows can, him. You can say that you know him. That's fine. Right. Right. But stop talking. No. Nah. Don't get involved. Are you Listen, going on I'm, the train? I'm not going to touch. Are you I'm going not. On the train? No. Are you get on the train. I'm not. Right. Where are you going? Right here. Filming where this you, nonsense. Where are you going now? I need you to move away. I, I moved go away. somewhere else. No, I'm not go breaking. Home. I'm not breaking any law. I'm all right. I'm not go breaking any law. Anywhere else. Would you be able to drop me off in Dalton? No, I wouldn't. I'm, I'm not train. breaking any law. You all right, Mark? Do you want to just come with me? Fuck? We'll get you in the new house so you can touch your parking. What the fuck? Hey? Why are you talking? Look at him with his crack out. Why are you talking? Come on, Mark. Not some Let's go touch up some more eleven-year-old, shall we? Come on, Mark. Come on, mate. Get back on the train and fuck off to where you came from. Do you want to get arrested? For what? For saying, swearing in the street. Swearing? And swearing nonce. at him. He's a so stay Who away. I'm sorry, I'll just come in. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not breaking the law. There. I'm not breaking the law. Come on, Mark. Come on. Stay. I'm, 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 I'm not going anywhere. You are going to get arrested any what second. For? Get out of my face. Come on, Mark. Get back what? to Doncaster. Right. right. You're going to get arrested. Listen, I'm, not any I'm not doing it now. I'm not doing it now. Alright, we're getting arrested. Alright, what for? Yeah, I'll record this. Right, right go on. Then you record this, man. Right? Record this. I saw that in the morning, bud. What's your name? Go kidding. Now, me personally, I mean, I could be completely wrong, because like I said, I'm not entirely familiar with UK law. But to me, that seemed like that officer was on a complete power trip. Now, she looks at him, says, You're going to get arrested for swearing in the street, yeah? And to me, that just seems a little bit goofy, because from where I'm from, you're allowed to swear in the street. You know, that, that's not, like, a taboo here. I, I don't maybe it is in England, I, I don't know. It's just so silly. And then she goes, she, she approaches him, she walks up to him about four feet away, gets in his face and says, You need to get out of my face, yeah? I, I just don't necessarily understand that. I don't really, I can't believe that that's a real police officer. Now, all of the silliness from that video I just showed you aside, but I still can't get over the fact that she approached him, said get out of my face, and said she's going to arrest him for swearing in the street. I don't know how well that holds up in court, but if someone from, you know, the UK could properly inform me of what in the hell was going on with that police officer in that clip, please, please do so. But moving on, I think it's about time I show you guys one of the few times he was caught in like an, a proper sting where he's getting pressed rather hard whenever he's getting caught here. From what I can gather, what happened, this was like one of the very first stings by the way, but from what I can gather here, apparently he was talking to a real child to which the parents of the child handed the situation over to the authorities and predator catchers. That's what I was able to find online. I think that's you know, pretty true, but there's also a chance it couldn't be because I couldn't find, you know, proper confirmation, but that's what I was able to find. It's a steal from a shop. 
Do you know what not to steal from a shop? Yes or no? Do you know not to steal from a shop? Yes or no? Do you know not to rob a bank? I don't do what. Is it naughty to rob from a bank? I yeah. Don't do what. Why? Well, she's not asking you that. Why wouldn't you do it? Why? Because you know it's wrong, don't you? Do you know that you're not supposed to know some kids? Well, I'm not, I'm not You are, though, aren't you? Are we That's why we're here, because we're got, talking to real children again. Be Man, I'm fucking no, I'm sick not. to death of seeing your face on the internet. Type. Sick of it. Do you know what? It's all over. Ro Rotherham, and Port Hale and Swap now. Yeah. Everyone is after you now. That's why we've had to come tonight to what safeguard you as well. And the children, the real children. You do you understand that? People, yeah. Oh, real, well, you're friend. talking to thousands, I'm out. I'm going out. thousands I'm out. of real children. Do you know, as well, you don't do any grooming. All you do is send naked photos because you know you, you, you yeah, think you can get away with it. You think you can get away with it and you can't now. Time's up, lad. Simple as. No, it's happening. I'm telling yeah, you Yeah, trust me, I'll tell you. Do you reckon you're going to get away with it, do you? Do you reckon you're going to get away with it again? The police knows, man. Police knows, man. Oh, the police knows you, so it's all right because the police know you. Is that what you're saying? The police knows So Because the police know you. Now, that was one of the times Mark was caught in one of the many sting operations he was caught in. This one was a bit more professional, I've seen, than a lot of the others. Because some of the other times Mark has been caught, the person who catches Mark, the person who did the sting op, you know, was a little bit aggressive and actually put his hands on Mark, which is a very terrible way of going about it. Now I'm going to show you guys one more clip, this clip being when Mark was on Insta and TikTok Live, constantly live streaming with actual children, literally streaming with actual children. One of them goes as far to say, how old are you? Like they were genuinely baffled at how old he was when he gave his age, which is 33 years old when this happened. Here's the clip. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm going to... I wanna I'm gonna get older I'm gonna go to the phone soon and get phone you can. I might be getting the iPhone twelve. Check you iPhone twelve. Stop fucking me out. What did I say out, Molly? Did I fucking say What are you trying to do? Molly what are you on about? Molly? What the fuck are you on about? Think so you should have Molly. Yeah, it's Molly there. It was just fucking <laughs> you call me Molly, you call yourself a fucking legend. Yeah, I fancy putting my name as legend. You have a legend. And there's 51 people. Come on, we need to be I need to be Ava. You need to be who? Ava. Because he gets over like fucking he gets over like Mark, how old are you? How old do I look? Um I don't know. Just guess. <laughs> Well, no. for my age, at four foot eleven, I do not look thirty-three. You're thirty-three. Yeah, but I don't look it. No, I you feel look so it. shit. Why? All in all, Mark Feely was a pretty hard person to look into. He had a lot of stuff on him, but a lot of that stuff on him was very scattered, poorly done. There wasn't a lot of stuff that I could put in this video because a lot of the stuff around him is very bad or would just get the video taken down in general. Like there is mountains of evidence against Mark Feely but a lot of it is very hard to come by or very hard to find. Some of the stuff I had to show you has been screen recorded and then screen recorded again and just done over and over and over until like the quality is just downright shit. It's just, it was such a weird video to investigate for because no matter how long I looked, I kept coming back to like the same terrible quality results. But I did see no other YouTuber beside Joseph of the World cover Mark Feely before. So like I said uh, prior to me even getting into this video fully, a lot of credit goes to him because without him I wouldn't really know exactly where to start with Mark Feely. Before I end this video, I don't have anything else to show right now, but there were rumors that Mark Feely passed away about two years ago, and not much of him has been seen since those rumors have occurred, so we don't know how true they are, but they are just rumors as of the moment. I have one bonus clip to show you, but I'll show you that after I do my outro, so thank you guys all for watching today's video. Whether you're new here or not, thank you so much. If you guys want to subscribe and stick around, that's completely up to you, but I will see you guys on the next one. Have a great day or night. Stay safe. See ya.
say it. I wanted to do 